I'm often asked, what is emotional virtue? But to be honest, I actually just took two words and put them together and made the phrase, and everyone stops and says, wait a minute, what's emotional virtue? So you take emotional, the passions, our desires, feelings, emotions. It's important to remember, emotions happen to us. Virtue concerns what we do with them. And then you have virtue. Virtue helps us to acquire the freedom to be excellent in our lives. Think about learning to play an instrument or learning a language or some sport that you want to get really good at. With practice, that's how you become. It becomes so much easier and you watch your freedom grow. Every day we're faced with decisions, big and small. But what would happen if with each decision we, asked, we would ask ourselves, who do I want to be? Each decision forming our character, that decision will bring you either closer or farther away from the person that, you're, that you want to be. Emotional virtue is all about ordering and controlling and harnessing and directing them to freedom, to have freedom to pursue excellence, to not let your, your emotions control you. Because if you don't control your emotions, they for sure will control you. I came into virtue in college whenever I learned, started learning all about it from my professor. And he said, tell us uh, everyone the name of virtue. And I said, patience is a virtue. And that's all the farther I got. And so as we were looking at the different virtues, we were talking one night and a group of guys, we said, okay, what's the most attractive thing about a woman? And they went off and had their little powwow and they came back and they said, we got it, we got it. Holiness and confidence. And we were like, wow, that's deep, holiness and confidence, okay. And then we went back and I remember asking one another, what does that look like as women? What is, what, what goes with holiness and confidence? And then we figured it out, it's virtue. And so through the years we've been talking and for trying to figure out, okay, what does it mean to be a holy and confident woman? And we broke it down into three different things. That woman is feminine, she is confident, and she is virtuous. She's feminine. She is gentle and kind. She's poised and modest, joyful and fun. She's confident. She has courage. She's genuinely excited for another, not jealous or vain. She's prudent and honest. And then virtuous. She's trustworthy and loyal and pure, and she strives for excellence in everything. Now I know all these virtues and trying to be that woman, feminine, confident, virtuous, I know that it's a tall order. And I'm not saying to be perfect, no one's perfect, but striving for virtue and knowing what you want in your life to help you become when you ask those questions of, who do I wanna be, as you're asking that. But isn't that kinda of what you're looking for in a guy? Let's switch out feminine and put in masculine masculine, confident, and virtuous. That's what people are looking for in an awesome dating relationship. So we think about masculine. He's a leader. He's a provider. He's a protector. I love that. He's a man of integrity. He also has confidence and virtue. Can you imagine this couple coming together? What chemistry? What striving for virtue together and helping one another grow? How amazing would that be? But here's what I want you guys to remember. Ladies, always, Become the, women, the woman of your dreams and you will attract the man of your dreams. Become the woman of your dreams and you will attract the man of your dreams. Who do you want to be? Ask yourself, what are my goals? What are my dreams? What are my plans? And strive for virtue every day. Battle your emotions. Help control them and harness them. Become that feminine, confident, virtuous woman that you want to be. And I promise you, that man of your dreams will be forever in love with a simply irresistible woman.